the training, get access, and start to spark, you know, those aspirations of going into college and, and in a career field in STEM and STEAM. And so we have three target audience that, that we're looking at, our zero to five, our K through 12, and our college and career. And those are, are outlined in the light blue area. Now, for our outreach and what we're doing, you know, the, the whole ecosystem, we're looking at establishing early childhood education programs, a national e-gaming tournament, which I'll have William speak about, you know, um, um, in a minute, along with our state and national STEM innovation expos, right? And then from there, being able to establish and identify and even upgrade um, existing infrastructure so that these communities have a place to learn if they don't already have one. And so when you look at our partnerships, those are the ones on the outside um, in the light pink. Our HBCUs, they're, they're two full with our HBCUs. One is the opportunity for each one of their department to provide mentorships, right? And, and, and volunteer support. And then it's also for them to be able to participate and some of the things that we're doing, and even in some cases where HBCUs may not have a curriculum in STEM or STEAM or esports, we'll be able to provide them with those resources to establish that in their programs. And so when you look at our outreach, that mentorship, that volunteerism, uh, the STEM net, the Tournament of Champions, monumental honors and, and our workshops or the outreach, the boots on the grounds that, that we're doing, right? And so with the Tournament of Champions, we know that 91% of all team males and 75% of all team females have access to gaming consoles as well as uh, computers to do video gaming. And so, you know, our goal with, with, with them is to meet them where you are. And will you, you can start to pull up your screen now. And so we're using e-gaming as a platform or a way to meet the kids where they're at so that we can bring them into the fold and start to help them mold and go down that, that college and career path uh, towards, towards esports. Sorry about that. Take myself off mute. All right. So let's look at um, the, the concept that we're doing. Again, getting students interested in STEM and STEAM at the community level, but um, doing it through their interest in esports. So I'm going to present what we're looking at uh, really quickly. And then, we, you know, we want to get you guys feedback on it. 